Herring are an important fish in our local waters and a vital link in the food chain, which is why it's crucial to ensure that these forage fish are thriving. Veronica Cooper has more. This is a herring bait ball in the Salish Sea. Are a very, very important foundation species to the area. You know, they provide nutrients to um, hundreds, if not thousands, of other species directly and indirectly in the Salish Sea. Carrick works for Eagle Wing Tours, which is helping document what's happening in our oceans. We have a really unique opportunity with the industry that we're in. We get to spend 10 plus hours a day on the water, taking people out and you know showing them the Salish Sea and sort of educating them on this amazing area. We wanted to help out in any way that we could. Um, we do that with multiple organizations, but with World Fisheries Trust, they're specifically looking at forage fish, um, more specifically herring. Herring are uh, an important link in the food chain. Um, so they, they help larger mammals and larger fish get food, which supports our ecosystem. Anything from salmon to humpbacks to sea lions, uh, seabirds, um, it's all connected. It was at a Georgia Strait Alliance presentation that Jim Shortreed learned about the Herring Enhancement Project. They had uh, recovered the herring stalks in Falls Creek, and I went, Falls Creek, Vancouver, recovered the herring stalks. But yes, indeed, they had, and they used these nylon curtains to provide a proper spawning substrate for the herring, which had been spawning on creosote piles, which, of course, was not very good for the hatch-out rate. With the nylon curtains, oxygen gets to the eggs from both sides. They hatch out much better. The project yeah. was brought to Victoria. And we set up our curtains all through the Victoria Inner Harbour. Now we have curtains hanging in Petter Bay at Pearson International School, as far north as Port Browning. We are very grateful for all of our volunteers and all of our partners. Our project wouldn't be possible without them. Well, of course, we're always looking for more volunteers. Observers and curtain maintainers, I will bring the curtains out to you, show you how to set them up, and all the volunteer has to do is observe them for herring spawn, and at the end of March, we pull the curtains up and put them in storage, and the project's over until next year. If you'd like to help, the Victoria Herring Enhancement Project is inviting volunteers to Port Sydney Marina on Valentine's Day. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.